we've got another herring gull here, the silver muna, rather lovely colour. It's got that sort of chocolatey coffee colour on the front and on the lower wall. And then the rest of it is this really nice sand colour, the whole tent. It's a really nice feature. I can't find any damage or any repairs and I can barely find any marks like this. What a nice run of tents we've had. I feel as though I'm in a bit of a groundhog day of nice tents at the moment, but this is all very little fade. This clearly hasn't been up a lot because maybe they put it up in winter, but it's very little signs of fading on this, which is unusual. Ground cheese is really clean. You could eat your food off that. It doesn't have the zip on for the extra canopy, but it has got the meter built-in canopy there. All this really good. We've got the optional mosquito. I'm really not going to explain again what that does. Um, but there it is on the left-hand side, the optional mosquito door. Everything perfect, all the zips good. Everything fantastic. Um, and then we've got the interior curtain here. There's a zip up the middle. Zips into the halfway down the tent to divide off the sleeping area. And then two gorgeous sand-coloured wings there. One to go either side of the entrance. Big wide wings, about two and a half metres wide at the bottom, five rubbers on each. Zip on either side of the entrance and make a really, really lovely looking tent. Really gorgeous. Herring gull. Three metres wide, 3.8 deep, 2.2 at the masts, 1.8 at the entrance approximately. This is a twin mast tent, so although it's only three metres wide, you get a very good head height. Great tent for four people. Not too heavy, the actual tent, 23 to 24 kilos. Very manageable. Thank you for watching.